a double beam equal arm balance. But we're just going to call it a double beam balance. Notice that I did not call this a balance scale. I did that because it's not a balance scale. A scale determines your weight, and your weight is a measurement of how gravity affects your mass. On this balance, we are just going to measure the mass of two objects. That's why we're not calling it a balance scale. First thing we have to do when we go to use a um, double beam balance is we want to make sure that it is zeroed. By that, we want to make sure that this little pointer is lined up on the black line. Okay. To do that, we have to make sure that the two beams, this lower beam and this top upper beam, are both on zero. This bottom beam moves in increments of 10 and you can hear it click as you move to different increments, okay? We want to make sure that zero is in the center of the window since we're trying to zero the balance. This top beam, we want to make sure that it is also pointing on zero. And this is where the patience factor comes in. Once this pointer stops moving, hopefully it's lined up with the little black line behind it. See this little white piece with the black line? We want that line and the pointer to line up with each other. If by some chance they don't line up with each other, ask your teacher to turn this little silver knob over here because you have to turn it just a little bit and wait for this pointer to stop moving and most kids turn it too fast and too quickly and don't give the pointer a chance to catch up so if it doesn't line up when you move the two beams to the left and put them on zero ask your teacher to turn this little knob right here that I'm pointing to it looks like it's zeroed so we're going to measure two household objects today we're going to measure the mass of a cell phone measure the mass of the cell phone. So put the cell phone on the left platform and let's slide this to 50, nothing. Slide this to 100, nothing. Slide it to 150. Oh, see movement? Once this platform starts rising, that lets us know we're getting close. Let's move it to 180. Oops, way too much. 170, way too much because the platform is all the way up. We want these to be balanced. That's why they call this a balance scale. Or not a balance scale, but they call it a balance. To uh, 160, that doesn't work. 150. Okay, 150 is not enough. 160 is too much. So we need to move it to 150 and do what? That's right. We need to move the top beam. So let's move the top beam to about two grams and look the platforms are not balanced this left one is higher than the right so we need to get them balanced so let's move this back a little bit let's move it to one gram two grams was too much or remember we're watching the pointer up here we want it to line up on the black line when it lines up on the black line that means we're good and we can go ahead and count how many grams we have and we'll have an accurate measurement looks like it's just a little bit to the right so I need to move this ever so slightly to the left and now we have to wait and see if it lines up on the black line I think this might be it still moving just a little bit alright so now the pointers lined up on our little black line now we can count how many grams we have and we have right down here 150 on the bottom beam and on the top beam this little pointer is on one gram exactly so the mass of the cell phone is 151 grams 150 plus what we have on the top 150 plus one 151 grams and that